All right, here we go, BFIT Nation. We are live. Welcome back to your BFIT Live programmed workout for this week. Welcome back to our Monday motivation, our Motivation Monday. A great way to start the week nice and strong with our exchange BFIT program. You have myself, BFIT Ambassador Roy Montes, and Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry. How are you doing today, ma'am? Hey, good morning, how are you? I'm doing good, how are you? All right. Yes, ma'am. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Ready to get this programmed workout started as we pull up um, our video on the screen here. Uh, once again, welcome. If you are new to our BFIT Live programmed workouts, let us know. Drop us a note in the comments below and we will go ahead and uh, see those uh, and <laughs> comment on those as well. If you have any questions along the way, um, let us know and uh, we'll be happy to uh, to, to call out any of those questions that you may have on any modifications, on any movements that you may have for today. But once again, welcome, welcome back. Today we have a hybrid workout for you today. We have a car cardio-based uh, and resistance-based movement. So if you have any dumbbells, any kettlebells, anything that can add some resistance to these movements to scale them up, uh, go ahead and grab those now. You do not need a lot of space here. Uh, as you see myself, I'm in a gym setting, but uh, Sergeant Barry is in, in a home setting as well. So these program workouts are geared to be accomplished anywhere, um, targeted to be accomplished anywhere uh, that you may have space available to you. Um, so the timing for today, team, the timing for today is 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four movements, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. I'll demo each of those four movements before we get started and go into a dynamic stretch. <clears throat> and then we will go into the program workout. But once again, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. All right, as I mentioned, we have a hybrid of cardio and resistance based movement. So let's kick off with movement number one here. I'll go ahead and demo each movement, listen for any cues, any tips, any uh, thing that you can take away from the movement. That way we can ex execute these movements properly and safely and to the best of our abilities at wherever we are at today. So movement number one, we have a reverse lunge with a curl, a bicep curl at the bottom of the movement. So with a pair of dumbbells or anything that you have in mind, <clears throat> if you do not have any dumbbells, go ahead and make that nice strong fist, okay? That reverse, uh, reverse lunge with a bicep curl at the bottom of the movement here. So we're gonna set ourselves up at the front of our workout space here. We're gonna take that Rear, rear, we're gonna take that right leg, we're gonna extend it back into that reverse lunge. So extend it back, drop that rear knee down, that front knee tracks at about a 90 degree angle, chest is up, shoulders are rolled back out of this bottom of your movement. You're gonna go ahead into a bicep curl. So palms facing you on the way up, palms facing um, you on the way down, palms facing your face on the way up, all right? Come back to standing position and then we are gonna alternate left leg and right leg, drop that knee down, Bicep curl at the bottom, stand up nice and tall, okay? Alternating reverse lunge with a bicep curl is gonna be movement number one. Sticking with a pair of dumbbells, movement number two, we're gonna target our posterior chains here. So our mid to upper back is going to be our target area here. We're gonna set ourselves up, feet shoulder width apart, soft bend at those knees. We're gonna hinge at those hips, bring those dumbbells down towards our knee. Palms facing each other here. We're gonna go into a reverse fly. So nice flat back. That head is looking straight down. We want that neutral spine. From here, we're gonna extend up into a T formation. Control the weight back down and back up. So back up and then back down, okay? Reverse flies for movement number two, 40 seconds of work. After that, we are gonna go into jack presses. So a little bit of a cardio-based movement here. All right, jack press is going to be kind of like it sounds, a jumping jack with an overhead press combination movement here. So feet together here at your start, nice big T formation here. Palms are gonna face the front of the room. From here, you're gonna come up into a jumping jack with an overhead press with your dumbbells. Palms facing up and away from you. Control that on the way down, nice big 90 degree bend at the shoulders and at those elbows into that jack formation. So jack presses, for movement number three. That's gonna be a nice heart rate elevation there and a heart rate change for movement number three. Out of that, we are gonna drop down onto the floor. We can remove those dumbbells because we have a rep count of 10 and two. So 10 mountain climbers and two push-ups. That is gonna continue our heart rate elevation through the second half of our set, the second half of our round. So 
with our mountain climbers, we have 10 and two with those mountain climbers. Nice strong form here. So hands are gonna stack underneath our shoulders. Nice high plank position here. Our back is flat. Our head is tucked down, looking at the floor here. Hips are square to the floor. Shoulders, our feet are about shoulder width apart. From here, you're gonna drive in those knees into those 10 mountain climbers, right? Nice, strong 10 mountain climbers. After that, we have two push-ups. So hands are stacked underneath shoulders. Nice, same strong format. Drop down, one and two. And then we are back up into the 10 mountain climbers. So 10 and two is gonna be our rep count, our sequence for movement number four. Now, if we need to scale back on our push-ups, let's go ahead and drop to our knees, but leading with those hips up and that chest, lead with your chest into that nice, strong push-up. And then you're right back up out of those two. Two, back to a high plank position. And then you have your 10 mountain climbers, okay? Nice full extension on those wide mountain climbers or wherever we are for today's uh, <clears throat> effort. All right, team, how does that sound? How does that sound? <laughs> All right, hi, Julie, hi, Julie. Welcome to our VFIT Live program. So good to see you once again. And Mark and Chris, thank you for joining us today. All right, team, so those are the four program movements for today. Sergeant Barry, we ready to kick off with some dynamic stretching? I am, totally ready. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right. All right, let's go with some dynamic stretching first. Let's start with that low heart rate, but I'm hearing, at, I'm looking at my shoulders, I'm looking at my upper body. So uh, let's warm up with some nice big windmill circles, right? Nice big circles with our arms here. I'm gonna go single arm, right arm is first, forward. A few seconds here. Out in four, three, two, and we are gonna go in reverse here. Really just warming up our upper body, warming up our shoulder mobility here with a few of the movements that we have, like our movement number three and a little bit of movement number four. All right, let's switch to our left arm. Nice big circle here forward with our left arm. I like to support with that other arm over the chest here. It can be anywhere. All right, last four here, three, Two, and we'll go in reverse, control this movement here. You can really see the range of motion that you may have <laughs> while executing this windmill, this arm circle, nice large arm circle. <clears throat> Last three here, two, one. All right, team, dynamic quad stretch here. We're gonna take that right leg. We are gonna extend it back towards our glutes here. Left arm goes up, nice and tall. Push those hips forward, feel that stretch in your quad, in your hip flexors. Good, and in your shoulder, left arm going up. Alternate left arm and right arm. As quickly or as slowly as you would like, sit in these positions as long as you would like. Feel out your body here, feel out where you are for today. Good, good, good. All right, here's last two on my end. One and two. All right, team. Nice wide stance here for lateral lunges. All right. Nice wide stance here. Our feet are going to be fixed forward. From here, we're going to shift our weight over to our right and to our left. Standing back up, nice and tall, resetting, and then dropping into shifting that weight over to your left and to your right. You should feel that stretch in the mid, I'm sorry, in the inner part of your thigh as you shift that weight over to the left and the right. Keep that chest up. Good, good, good. Just warming up our body here. Getting some blood flow into our targeted muscle groups that we are gonna work for today. Last three, two, one. All right, standing up nice and tall. We're gonna take some nice kicks out to the left and to the right. Try to keep your feet or your legs as straight as possible. Right leg to left hand, left hand to right leg, right leg to left hand, left leg to right hand. There it is. <laughs> good, good. This is targeted on our hamstrings here, but also really working on some mobility with our hips. Good, nice diagonal kicks here out in three, two, 
One, and since we have some reverse lunges here, we're gonna take a nice reverse lunge with an overhead reach. So coming to our top of our workout space here, we're gonna send that leg back, drop into that reverse lunge. That right arm goes over towards our left, towards that lead leg side. Come back to center, back to standing. Alternate, right legs forward, left leg goes back, left arm extends over to our right side. Sit in that position for as long as you need or as quickly as you need. You can speed it up. Good. Really feel that stretch, oh, that overhead stretch. You're feeling that nice lat stretch in your back. Good. Out in four, three, two, last rep, and one. Last but not least, let's go into a little bit of lower back movement, a little bit of warming up our lower back since we do have a hinge movement here. So we're gonna go into hinge reaches. Feet shoulder width apart, soft bend at those knees. We're gonna put our arms up. We're gonna extend our arms up nice and high here, thumbs facing the back of the room here because we are pushing those hips back, hinging at the hips, coming up to about a 45 degree angle and then standing right back up to standing. Good, control our core here. Again, feet shoulder width apart, just pushing those hips back. Our head is tracking as we come down and back to standing, really just engaging that lower back, those glutes, your hamstrings. Out in three, last two, arms extended nice and high, one and time. All right, team, that's our dynamic stretch routine for today. Let's go ahead and start our timers here and then we will jump into our workout. Remember reverse lunges with a curl at the bottom of our position here, bent over fly, a bent over reverse fly for movement number two. Number three is gonna be a jumping jack with the press. And then movement number four is gonna be those 10 mountain climbers with two pushups to divide the time. All right, team, grab your dumbbells, grab a drink of water real quick because we have 10 seconds here. And then we are starting up in, Five seconds here, two, one. All right, team, here we go. Front of our workout area here, reverse lunge, bicep curl at the bottom, controlling that movement and standing back up to standing position. As always, that chest is looking straight and tall. Shoulders are rolled back, driving up through that front heel, back to standing. Control this movement here, adding in that bicep curl at the bottom is really forcing us to stabilize. So our core is working. Last 10 seconds, right? Last 10 seconds, don't forget to breathe. <sighs> Out in three. <laughs> and time, recover here, 20 seconds here, sticking with the pair of dumbbells. Of your choice, we have bent over reverse flies. I know it's, you know, sometimes can forget your breath cadence on each push and pull movement. So five seconds here, bent over row, bent over reverse fly coming up, two, one. All right, here we go team, hinge at those hips, push those hips back as if you're pushing in a door, making a nice T formation with your dumbbells, with your arms as you come up. All right, try to make that T formation rather than a Y formation. 22 seconds here, back is flat. Keep that core nice and tight. Control that weight up. Control that weight as it comes back down. Good. Last 10 seconds, you should be exhaling as the weight comes back down. There you go. Last five. Out in three, two, one, and time. Rest, 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 recover. All right, team, good job. Here we go, movement number three, we have a jumping jack press. With that jack press, we are up nice and tall here. Feet together to start off with. In five seconds, we're gonna extend up as our legs come up into that nice big star rotation. Here we go, two, one, and time, here we go. Pace yourself with this movement. Try to keep a steady pace as you work through this 40 seconds of work. Good. Good job team, feeling our lower body, our glutes, our adductors, the side of our glutes activated, staying on the balls of your feet here. <clears throat> Controlling our weight on the way up, on the way down, finding a little bit of rhythm here. <laughs> Last five, out in three, two, one, and time. Good job. 
Good job, good job. Drop the weight here. We are on deck here. We have 10 mountain climbers and two push-ups. Control our breathing here. Catch our breath here. Eight seconds here. <clears throat> 10 mountain climbers and two push-ups. Up in three, two, high plank position here. Feet shoulder width apart, nice flat back. Let's go. Good. Nice strong movements here with your push-ups and your mountain climbers. Good. Keeping that back flat, those hips square to the floor. Out an 18. Good. Remember, if we need to drop to our knees here to execute a push-up, perfectly fine. Wherever we are at today in our fitness journey, last five. Out in three, two, one. And time. <laughs> okay. Okay. We see a little bit of the heart rate change, heart rate elevation on the second half of our, of our round today. <laughs> okay. This is where we have 60 seconds of rest here before we jump into that next round. So team, how are we doing? How are we doing? Are you staying with us? Good, good. All right, 30 seconds here to catch our breath. Remember to hydrate here. Remember to hydrate. 20 seconds here. All right, out of those four movements, we have to come away with one favorite. One favorite for today. It could be the hardest or it could be the uh, easiest one. But we're coming away with something for today. <laughs> Eight seconds here. Grab that weight, reverse lunge with a bicep curl at the bottom. <laughs> here we go, team. We are up in two, one, here we go. Reverse lunge, nice strong bicep curl. Hold that position at the very bottom. That means we need to control our weight as we reverse lunge. Nice proud chest. Once again, shoulders are rolled back. Drive it up through that front heel. Aim for that front leg at a 90 degree bend. We may have to push our hips back as we come down to achieve that out in 10 seconds here. Good, last five. Out in three, two, one, and recover. All righty, we bent over reverse flies. Reverse flies coming up in 13 seconds. Whew. Is the air on, Sergeant Barry? I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> it still feels like midsummer right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely not on over here. I can tell you that. All right. We are working here. We are inside of 30 seconds of work. Take your time with our resistance training here. All right. 40 seconds could be a lot of time for us. If you need to stand up, reset, kind of shake it out, come back into your hinge position, pushing those hips back. And then executing that T formation with that bent over reverse fly, that back is flat. Remember to keep that chin tucked in close to our chest. Out in three, two, one, and time. 20 seconds of rest here. Ooh. Here we are, here we are. Jack press is coming up for movement number three. Eight seconds, these 20 seconds of recovery are flying by today. Four seconds here, team, we are up in three. Two, one, I'm ready, here we go. Stay with us here, team. Good, nice, strong movements. Find that cadence, find that tempo that works for us. Good job, team, halfway there. Good job, Sergeant Barry, keep it up. All right, team, last eight seconds. Out in three, two, one, and time. Shoulders are on fire. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to switch weights in a second. I have to go a little lower. <laughs> that movement right there with that tempo goes a long way. So even the lightest of weight can catch up to you. All right, team, three seconds here. 10 mountain climbers, two push-ups coming up. 
Here we go, team. Driving in those knees for those 10. Nice, strong two push-ups to break up that core dominant movement. Good job, team. Stay with us. <laughs> Out in 15. Remember, if it's toe taps, that's where you're at today. Let's tap those toes into our mountain climbers. Out in three, two, one, and rest. Rest and recover. Yes. Find that breath. Wipe off, towel off, hydrate here. Good job. This is where we start the tempo for the week here. This is where we get to raise the bar, really show what our Monday is gonna look like and the rest of our week by putting in as much effort as we can during our BFIT Live program workouts, team. <sighs> Good, as we take a breath here, as we recover for that next third round, we have two more rounds, third round, fourth round, and that's it, team. So stay with it. Keep putting as much effort as you can into these, each of these rounds and each of these movements here inside of our 10 second tier reverse lunge with the curl coming up. All right, team, we are up in five, three, two, goes by quick. <laughs> Good. Again, with our resistance training here, anything with the weight, think about controlling that movement on the way up and on the way down. Quad dominant here, really drive up through that front heel. Bicep curl, control that weight. Elbows are tucked in close to our torso. Out in seven seconds. Out in four, last rep here, finish it out. Two, one, and recover. Good job, team, good job. Good job, hold on to that weight here. We have bent over reverse slides coming up. Good job, team. Seven seconds here. Find our breath. Set ourselves up. Feet shoulder width apart. Soft bend at those knees. Pushing those hips back. Dumbbells around our knee level. Palms facing each other. Reverse fly here. Again, if we need to make nice, strong fists, let's do that. Team, nice, strong fists here. Really focus on that top pause. If we don't have any dumbbells here, Squeezing our shoulder blades together, nice and strong. 15 seconds here. Remember to exhale as the weights come up. Big inhale as the weights come down. Last five seconds. Out in three, two, one, and time. Good job. Good job, team. Jack presses coming up. Again, nice strong fists will go a long way with the jack presses as well. We're up in three, two, one. Here we go, team. This is where we get to control the weight or our body. Here we are, feeling that activation, that burn in our outside of our glutes outside of our legs as well. Last 10 seconds here, team. Keep it up, stay with it. Last five, three, two, one, and recover. Good job, drop the weight here, drop the weight. <laughs> awesome work, awesome work. Last movement here to round out round number three, 10 Mount Carmers, two push-ups. We got it, team, we got it. How are we looking? We're looking good. All right, team, we're up in two, one. Last movement here for round number three. Let's stay with it. Good job. Keep it up. Good, good, good. Keep it up. Last 20 seconds here. 
We're looking good, team. We are looking good. Sergeant Barry is looking good. Yes, ma'am. Keep driving, keep driving. Inside of 10 seconds, finish it out. Whatever we may have for this round. Last three, two, one, and time. Good job. Ooh. This workout right here. We're gonna take this one on the road. <laughs> dumbbells or no dumbbells. Uh, <laughs> this is your hotel room workout right here. Whether you're traveling or at home, visiting family. This is it, this is the one. 30 seconds here, rest, recover, find that hydration. Towel off, really bring our breathing. Back down, controlling our heart rate here, team. Nice controlled breath, deep breath in, deep breath in, deep breath out. Bringing us inside of 10 seconds here, reverse lunge with a curl for our last and final set, team. Last three, two, starting in one. And here we go, team. Reverse curl here, bicep curl up top. Good, good. Quick reminder here, whenever you reverse lunge, you wanna make sure that your feet are still somewhat of shoulder width apart, right? Never wanna be in a straight line when you reverse lunge. It's gonna take away a lot of your balance, a lot of your stability. Good, keep those hips square to the front of the room. Inside of five seconds here, team. Three seconds, then we recover. Two, one, recover here, recover, recover. Good job, way to finish that one out, team. Last round, team, last round. Absolutely, bent over reverse flies. Flies coming up in five seconds. Find our breath here. Last three seconds of recovery. Two, one, hinge at those hips. Push those hips back, team. Good. Nice big T formation here. Keeping that head and chin tucked down. We want that spinal alignment here. So we want our neck, our head, our neck, all the way down to our spine, all the way down to our tailbone in a relatively straight line. If you feel that your back is rounding out, roll those shoulders back, push that chest out. That would help with flattening your back here. Last nine seconds, stand up, recover if you need. Step back in to finish it out. Last five, out in three, two, one, and recover. Good job, good job. All right, team, jack press is coming up. Find our cadence here. Find a tempo that's challenging, that works with us, and stay with it, team. We are up in three, two, one. Here we go, team. Good job. Good job, stay with it. If you're making nice strong fists, stay with it. Find that full extension. Raise that tempo if we can. 20 seconds. In the bottom half of our workout here, out in 13. Keep it up team. With a smile, goes a long way. Out in five. Last three, two, one. <laughs> Good job. Did we know smiling burns more calories? It might, it might not, but it sure does. Uh, <laughs> that sure does make for more of an enjoyable movement. 10 and two, 10 push ups. I'm sorry, 10 mountain climbers, two push ups coming up in three, two, one. Last set, best set team. This is where we give it everything that we have left in the tank for today, for during this workout. <laughs> Lead with our chest on those push-ups. We need to drop down to our knees. Let's do it, team. Just finish it out with us. <sighs> out in 15, team. <sighs> Good, less than eight. Finish it out, hips are up, out in three, two, one, 
and time. <laughs> uh, woo. All right, team. All right. We see you today. <sighs> we showed up big today. You give us all of your effort for today. <laughs> As we bring that heart rate back down, <sighs> find our breath, towel off, grab that water. Remember, recovery is just as important as the hard work that you put in here, whether it's nutrition, wellness from the inside out, skincare. You know, it could be a well, a good night's sleep. All these recovery options and recovery efforts are just as important as the hard work that you put in inside of your workout team. Make sure and hydrate, make sure and eat well, refuel after today's workout. But good job. Let us know what movement you enjoyed the most or which movement was more challenging for you seeing the more of a cardio and a hybrid so it was programmed to get our heart rate elevated and it did just that as you can tell i'm <laughs> i'm just drenched here Whew. all right team good job today good job if you're new i hope you enjoyed today's be fit live program workout where we come every mondays we come to you live every mondays at 11 a.m central standard time sergeant barry how are we doing over there i'm good how are you Still catching my breath. But, uh, <laughs> so the movement for me, I kind of love to hate, I think, but was the press jack. I, I felt that just everywhere. <laughs> it, was, it was tough. I had to get like smaller weights. So I was like, I can do this with these ones. It was great. <laughs> So the, the, the jack press is those jumping jack with an overhead press, a good combination. Sometimes we will stand static and then go into that overhead press where you may be able to uh, lift a little bit more, but with that jack press forcing us to balance, stabilize out, out of those jack position into an overhead press, you know, we're working those uh, shoulders that may, may not, you know, they're not as uh, strong as let's say a, a, a bicep curl or, or your legs, definitely not. <laughs> so, um, it does it doesn't take a lot to work our shoulders it doesn't take a lot at that tempo to really feel the fatigue uh into those smaller muscle groups like your shoulders so uh, challenging for me as well it's, it's a great movement overall a full body movement that you're able to feel just like you mentioned <laughs> so be fit nation good job well done on showing up today as always our lives come to you every Mondays at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, right here on your Facebook page. If uh, you have a YouTube account and would like to share that as well, head over to Shop My Exchange on YouTube, where BFit Live has a full playlist of our catalog uh, live uh, recorded workouts over on that platform as well. Um, and uh, that, I mean, that's, that's it for today, team. If you uh, enjoyed, please, please share with your friends, share with your family, keep each other accountable, keep pushing forward, keep that accountability and uh, remember to stay, to help us, to help us stay ready, stay resilient and stay fit together team. All right, on behalf of the exchange and our BFIT program and to your mess, Sonia Berry, good job today, ma'am. Well done, we'll see you on the next live. <laughs>